What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from the quartering end. Whoa! I didn't know it had gotten this bad. Like, I know I see, you know, look, I guess you guys reach out to me every time Ethan talks about me on his uh, failing podcast, but it's not really even worth it to me. Like, uh, somebody said, oh, uh, Ethan roasted you on his podcast the other day. I'm not scrubbing through a three-hour snore fest to find a 10-second clip to get mad about. I just don't care. And ultimately, the internet doesn't care, except for there are many of us who remember the good times, who remember um, and hope that the man can find his way as a creator. And I will say again, even though he seems to have a special amount of venom and toxicity behind his commentary on me, getting very personal at times, which is, uh, you know, I guess par for the course for him. I really do hope for the best for Ethan. I hope he finds his way. He's just clearly deeply unhappy. Um, you know, I don't like when people uh, make fun of his uh, wife. That's not okay. If I ever did it in the past, that's not okay. And I apologize for that. Um, sometimes, you know, you get caught up in the memes and that's not okay. Um, you know, I've defended Ethan against, uh, the spurious copyright claims, uh, the ridiculous lawsuit against him currently, the previous ridiculous lawsuit. So I can separate the two, but Ethan Klein is still an important voice in the YouTube space and he's lost his way and he's lost, in my opinion, his mind and his channels are all suffering greatly for it. I wonder if the two things are related. Let's get into a statistical analysis of just how badly his Joe Rogan obsession has destroyed his career. And a quick word from this video sponsor. Huge shout out to this video sponsor, Established Titles. Established Titles is a project based on a historic Scottish custom where landowners are referred to as lairds or lords and ladies in English. They allow people to buy as little as one square foot of dedicated land so they can call themselves a lord or a lady officially. In return, they commit to plant a tree with every order and protect the beautiful pristine woodlands of Scotland. Established Titles makes an absolutely amazing gift and a person could officially get their name changed on documents. Their title pack gives you at least one square foot of dedicated land on a private estate and an official certificate with a crest. And they're having a huge Valentine's Day sale just for you guys. And on top of that, you can get an additional 10% off any purchase you make with the discount code, the quartering. So click the link below or go to establishedtitles.com slash the quartering and use promo code the quartering to save an extra 10% today. Now I saw Ethan Klein trending again on Twitter. I thought something interesting had happened, but really nothing. Um, just the fact that he continues to take these weird pot shots at Joe Rogan's physical condition, a 50 plus year old man that uh, would likely uh, spinning kick him to the moon, um, comparing him to, I don't know, a fat dog or something like that. It's such a weird thing. It'd be like me making fun of anybody's weight. You know, there's only, there's like a, only one tier above me, like super morbidly obese. And like, even then it's not a good look. Like, it's not a good look for me to make fun of somebody's physical condition. Um, I said, and I stand by that Megan Fox had way too much plastic surgery and she looks like a cement face in my opinion. And the internet dragged me for it because this is how I look. And because I'm not a super attractive male, uh, traditionally, apparently, then I can't have an opinion on anybody else's. This is just the way it works. And it's weird when you look at it, like Noam Blum writing, Joe Rogan broke Ethan Klein without even acknowledging he exists. 13,000 likes. You know, Ethan Klein and Hassan carefully crafting their online personnel personality to be the most cringe obnoxious people you've ever seen. Um, Lauren Chen, Ethan Klein is not only chronically uninformed, but he's also just a bad person. Ethan Klein is the certified B. Ethan Klein was never funny. Stop pretending he actually was. I mean, all of these, I, I don't know what he's done now. If it's just all this background, you know, like. We've got another case of bandwagoning on both sides with Joe Rogan and the Ethan Klein thing. Well, I mean, really, all Ethan Klein is doing is making commentary on a ma another man's physical appearance. It's low IQ. Um, it's It appeals to 
the lowest common denominator. Um, like, I get it. You can make jokes and stuff, but you're not really making a point. You're just being salty that he won't acknowledge you. Um, and I'm sure that he knows that he knows that uh, Ethan is constantly prattling on and um, barking at him, hoping he'll notice him. But I'm just not sure that he, uh, uh, Joe Rogan will be bullied into um, uh, putting him on his show. You know, it's, it's not really needed for Joe Rogan to say anything. Just let Ethan Klein speak himself. He manages to show what a fool he is. I mean, you know, Ethan Klein standing outside Joe Rogan's house with a boombox trying to get him to come out. Joe Rogan broke Ethan Klein by not ever acknowledging he exists. I, I, I don't know. It's just because of this picture. I mean, yeah, it's cringe. And again, like, here's another one, like Alpha Energy. <laughs> ah, that's you. You guys have the opposite of Alpha Energy. I mean, come on. Like acknowledge, you used to kind of like acknowledge yourself, right? You put this picture of you on the thumbnail and you say that's alpha energy. I mean, maybe you're in the liminal order or something like that. That's where you're getting your alpha energy. But why are you trying so hard? And look what it's doing to you. Let's just look at your Twitter feed. Okay. In the last 30 days, you've lost nearly 9,000 followers. And look at Sunday, 1,400, Monday, 800, Tuesday, 250, Wednesday, 500 and counting. The day after you put out that Rogan tweet, lost, you just lost another 200 right in front of our eyes. Now, I don't know if um, maybe he had like, maybe his account was like botted at some point, not saying he did it, but, and these are just bots that are getting scrubbed. But it seems unlikely. There's one point where he deleted, by the way, in December of 2020, he deleted 9,000 tweets. It's not inherently a bad thing, not necessarily like proof of anything. But if you look at him really for December, he's been hemorrhaging followers every single month. Uh, August until so August, September, down 3,000. October, down 9,000. This, uh, wait, sorry, October, yeah, November down 8,000, December down 9,300, and he's well on pace for way more than that this month. Last 30 days down 8,600. Let's take a look at the H3 podcast. I'm sorry, that's the H3 H3 channel. I don't think it's necessarily fair to critic, you know, to point out this channel, you know, because yeah, you deleted some videos, you deleted 16 million views. You lost 20,000 subscribers, but you haven't uploaded there in literally forever. Um, and you've been lo losing subs constantly. That channel, you just abandoned it. I mean, that's that's not fair to really measure. But let's look at the H3 podcast, something that's really important to you. This, on Monday, lost 10,000 subs. Now, the way this works is it only updates once you have as many subs as he does, which is awesome and a huge feat. Um, it only updates every 10,000. So he could have been, you know, he was at 3.01, which is 3 million and 10,000. But if he loses another 10,000, he's going to dip below 3 million. He'll be back down to 299. That would be pretty brutal, wouldn't it? Now, a lot of this is probably residual, uh, you know, people just leaving the show uh, because, you know, at the height was when you had Trisha and you had five, at one month 50 million views. I mean, that's insane money. That's hundreds of thousands of dollars in one month. Um, but it's basically been tanking ever since. September 16, popped up to 26 in October, but then slid in November to 24, slid in December to 20. Um, and really right now, in the last 30 days, you have 3 million views, which is awesome for, for literally most people but not for a channel with 3 million subscribers. In fact, this channel has been losing subs every single month, essentially since July or August. Here's August minus 10,000, September zero, October minus 20,000, November minus 10,000, 
December minus 10,000. January already minus 10,000. If you don't think Ethan's looking at this, like this is just fabricated beef, right? He really wants attention. You could see libs of TikTok showing his, you know, again, pointing out the never really go down that path of uh, going after people's physical appearance unless you got it all together. Um, this is a lesson I've learned too. Vivo Frey saying, this is Ethan's legacy. Compared to Joe Rogan's, it's beautiful and honorable. Uh, you know, I, I don't get it. This might be funny if it was a back and forth, but this hasn't, he hasn't even acknowledged your existence. And now the gag is getting kind of sad. Showing the side by side picture. I mean, built different? Question mark. I mean, I, I don't get it. I don't see really, I mean, he's getting crushed by his own followers. Now, it has a lot of likes, obviously. Please don't talk, calling him overweight. Again, this is such an easy dunk. This is why you don't do it. Unless you're super fit, you really shouldn't be going out there calling, you know, talking about how other people are physically built. It's it's just, it's way too easy to get crushed. You fell off. Um, Hear Dan Bull saying, hi, Ethan, what types of physical attributes do you think it's okay slash not okay to body shame and why? Haha, ha, Ethan got butthurt again, 3.5 thousand. They don't even talk about him on the podcast. He was really hoping they'd give him some clout, minus 1.6 or 1.6 thousand. Yeah, this could be. This really could be about um, being booty blasted that they didn't mention you. I mean, everybody's getting in here on the dunks. Looks pretty good for 53. I don't know when that picture was taken, you know. Ethan is 36. He's two years younger than me. Three years younger than me. That shocks me every time. He's got like Brian Stelterism. H3 Moral High Ground. This clip, that's of course the famous N-word clip. I mean, I don't, I'm just getting crushed. His own fans are getting sick of it. Now, he got 26,000 likes, so clearly some people liked it. But, you know, it's just, it, it isn't a good look. This guy is still talking about Joe Rogan's body. Just DM him already. 54-year-old and 36-year-old. This brother is coping. Glass house. Show me on the doll where he hurts you, Ethan. If I could offer any advice to Ethan, and look, I know, you know, hey, who am I to offer, a, you know, advice to somebody who's getting 3 million views a month on their podcast? Well, I got 22 million uh, in the last 30 days. So my show is roughly, I don't know, eight times larger than the H3 podcast. So even if you include the, the clips, it's probably double or triple the size. So, you know, allow me to mentor you, Ethan. Stop. Either create content that makes you happy or, um, you know, enjoy yourself because you're not fooling anybody. We see your content. We see you're deeply unhappy. And it's actually hurts to watch. It hurts. Because I think that you are still capable of rebuilding your career and um, continuing to grow. I really do. And I hope that you take this advice. At least fake it until you make it. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.